video codex just a minute ago, and I noticed that you guys are in the code tag you used Ogthiora. Um, a, a big debate right now is about Ogthiora versus H.264. Can you weigh on on why you've, well, besides besides the fact that that Ogthiora is open, um, to well, go ahead and yeah, that's that. that's the big deal for us. Okay. It is a question of open versus closed, and we believe that everything on the web should be open. And as part of the W3C, anything that goes into the W3C is without patents. So the goal is to provide so anyone can write pages and do whatever they like without the issue of patents. And that's the way the web has, has worked for the most part. And uh, video has been outside. It's been handled first by I mean, Microsoft and by Apple and, and the others that have been provided quick time and the Windows Media player and then by Adobe and, and, and Flash. We believe that the web, the video should be a part of the standard of the web. We propose the video tab. But there also needs to be a decision on, on what kind of video. We believe that that should be an open standard. So that's why we've been supporting Bok Theora, because it's an, it's, it's an open solution. I mean, if Hawken yeah. wants to say a few things, because Hawken has been very, very, very involved in this. Yes, yes. Uh, it, it's very important for us, and a lot of things are happening with the video format now. I think everyone agrees on the video syntax that I've shown on the screen, and I'm glad you picked up on the Theora thing. Uh, the problem with patents isn't just for browser makers or device makers, it's also for users. Because if you want to put that video you're taking now on the web, you might have to pay a license fee for that uh, if you're using uh, H.264. Uh, currently, they don't charge, but they reserve the right to do so in the future. So they could, uh, could come after individual users who are putting video on their home pages. And we don't think that's right. We think everyone should be able to publish content on their websites without you know, paying charges. We shouldn't have you know, turnpikes on the web. Uh, and I think a lot of the grassroots of the web are seeing this now. And we're going to see a lot of activity about the video element, about the video formats uh, in the weeks to come. And uh, I'm an optimist. <laughs> But it seems like only you and Netscape are for the theory implementation. Firefox, uh, Mozilla. Yeah, sorry, Mozilla. It used to be Netscape. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> you, you seem to be the only two that are for an open standard, while the other guys are going for Actually, it's, it's a little bit more complex than that, because you'll see that Google has kind of gone both sides. I think we're used to, when it comes to the fight for open standards, that we're some, sometimes we're in the minority for a while, and then things change. For the longest time, we've been fighting for new open standards, I mean, and things weren't moving because the big gorilla in the room, Microsoft, was not supporting the web standards and making it very difficult for the web standards to move forward. Gradually, support from the various companies across the world for open web standards extended, and then we ended with an open solution. My feeling is that Google is also on the side of the open solutions, although they have done both so far. So with Perth, Google will uh, will open source the VG8 codex in Google I/O uh, just ten days, ten days later. So if Google do open source it, I probably adopt it as the default codex. I think we say no comment. 